other great interesting designs using brushes and a plugin called Photo Donut. Now, first thing to do, I'm just going to go to the brushes and then just select brush tool. And the brushes I'm going to be using are graphic extras brushes, border brushes. You can see a whole range of different border designs there. Find it on the website. And once you've selected that, now I'm going to apply it in black. Don't have to apply it in black, you can of course apply it in red, green, blue, whatever. Now what I'm going to do, apply it to a layer. So create a layer, buy a layer menu, new layer, and just add a single brush stroke. Duplicate by holding the Alt key down. So just then just drag across and Alt key again. So you've got multiple copies. You can line it up using smart guides if you want. That's what I'm doing. Now once you've done that, you can just drag down, create some more designs using again the Alt key, and there you've got the brush strokes all added as a single layer now by doing the flattened image by the layer menu. Now, once you've done that, what I'm going to do is just go into the XY COD in the filter menu, Photo Donut. And you can find more on the web, go and check out Photo Donut. Just go look for that, and you should be able to find a whole heap of information. Now, this plugin is a free plugin, so it's a They've also got obviously a paid for version as well, so you can obviously find out you can do hundreds of thousands of things, more things with it than what I can do with this. But it's got a vast amount of options for painting effects, drawing, etc. Now I'm just going to go for one of the, yeah, I'm just going to go to the abstract one there and it's called Innocence and just apply it. And you can see straight away or fairly quickly the effect there is a nice sort of uh, unusual drawing there or painting. You can modify the density, you can modify the very stroke length, stroke, liberty, etc. You also can modify the family, brush family, brush designs. So you just click on that and just play around. a whole range of brushes come, even with the free version. So you can try those as well. So they're really, really good. So you can browse, obviously, you can just select the ones you've used before and like I say click browse, and you get a little library of uh, brushes. Really useful. So just select one of those spotty paint and just click that and you can see it just fairly radically changes the effect actually in the result once it does it of course it takes a few seconds there's the actual design there now you can also what well, you've got effects layers and the key word is layers you can actually add another layer it's a little plus there at the bottom of the panel and just add a new layer click that and you've got another layer and you can then add effects to that obviously at the moment it hasn't got effects so you just i'm just going to select one there click any of them and then you've got the design applied with that. Now of course you've got the underlying layer you can't see at this point. So if you want to actually see it you just go to blend and you can then just change it to darken, multiply, difference, exclusion etc etc. I'll range them. I'm going to go for multiply. So you've got the effect and the new effect and you can tweak the brush width etc. A whole range of line curvature and much much more. You can't actually go up in the underlying effect. Now you have to go and get the actual proper sort of version, but this is just like some freebie version I'm using. Um, right, so once you've got that, post processing. Now there's a whole range here contrast, hue, saturation, obviously some more useful than you've got. Obviously, black and white not going to be useful, but if you've got more colourful images than that, then you can use obviously some of those things. Gamma is quite useful for those things. Now just click OK when we'll I process it, return the host, keep photo donut open, yes, OK, just do that. And then it just quickly goes through, doesn't it does take a little bit of time. Once it's processed, you can see the actual design there. Then what you can do, of course, you can go and apply different other effects to it and much more. So you can see there you've got effects there. And like I say you can also go adjustments, recolor it if you want as well, Q to saturation, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.